Adventures on the Farm, Butterflies. Hungry little friend. It was a hot summer's day and Leo was in the vegetable patch preparing to water the cauliflowers. However, as he knelt on the ground, he noticed that there was a problem. Look at that, Leo cried, as he inspected some of the leaves. Little holes! Something's been nibbling all of the vegetables. Leo loved bugs and decided to do some investigating to find the culprit. He opened his backpack and pulled out his magnifying glass. Perfect! This will help me to find them, he said. It's probably going to be caterpillars or snails, he continued. Now, let's see where you hungry creatures are hiding. Leo saw some of the little red dots on the, pep on the pepper plant and held out his magnifying glass to take a better look. It's ladybirds, cried Leo. You can't be creatures I'm after. You don't eat vegetable leaves. You mainly eat smaller bugs. So, Leo looked around the other vegetables. There were no creatures on the tomato plants and none on the lettuces. Then, Leo spotted the little leaf cruncher he was after. Found you, shouted Leo as he discovered a hungry caterpillar munching on a cauliflower leaf. Leo lifted the caterpillar up on his finger. Excuse me, said the little green creature. I'm in the middle of eating. Yes, in the middle of eating our food, replied Leo. Well, us caterpillars have to eat something and your vegetable leaves us so yummy. Now, if you excuse me, continued the caterpillar, I must get back to eating these cauliflower leaves. No, you don't replied Leo. We need to keep these vegetables for our dinner. We can't have you nibbling them all. Besides, I have a better idea. Leo strapped on his backpack, pulled on his cap and placed the caterpillar on the peak. Then he headed out of the vegetable path and into the field. Where are you taking me? asked the caterpillar. To a place where there are so many lovely leaves, you won't believe your eyes, said Leo. Leo liked his new caterpillar friend and wondered how long he had been living in the vegetable patch. I've been there for a long time, said the caterpillar. Every time you came to water the vegetables, I hid so that you wouldn't see me. Today, I was enjoying such a tasty leaf. I didn't want to move. Well, here we are, said Leo, placing the caterpillar on the lush green grass. All the leaves you can eat. A little caterpillar was so excited, it was a whole field of clever. He wriggled forward so fast he almost bounced into the air. Whilst the caterpillar enjoyed the vast amount of leaves that lay around him, Leo opened his backpack and took out an apricot. My mom gave me these before I left the house, Leo said. Would you like one? The caterpillar nodded excitedly. He crawled onto Leo's hand nibbled the bottom of the apricot and ate his way upright through the middle until he came out the top. Leo was amazed. This little caterpillar was so hungry that Leo decided to give him all the apricots he had in his backpack. The day was coming to an end and it was time for Leo to go home. Enjoy the rest of the apricots, said Leo as he waved goodbye. <clears throat> I'll, bring some, I'll bring you some more tomorrow. See you in the morning. See you soon, replied the caterpillar. I will be waiting right here. The next day, Leo walked back to the clover field with more apricots as he had promised. But to his surprise, the little caterpillar had gone. Leo looked under every rock and amongst all the clover but couldn't see the caterpillar anywhere. Just then, something strange caught Leo's eye. It looked like a big brown nut hanging from a bunch of the tree. I've never seen anything like this before, said Leo. I wonder what it is. Eventually, Leo gave up looking for the caterpillar in the field and decided to go back and look in the vegetable patch. I wonder if we prefer the taste of vegetable leaves after all, Leo said as he gazed through the magnifying glass once more. But there was still no sign of his new friend on the cauliflowers, tomato or lettuces. A few days passed and Leo decided to give up looking for the caterpillar. Then, one morning when Leo was out in the garden, a blue butterfly fluttered on the peak of his cap. 
Hello, butterfly, said Leo. It's me, replied the butterfly. I'm your caterpillar friend. How can you be? asked Leo. You look so different. After eating all the fruit and leaves in the field, the butterfly explained, I fell asleep on a branch. Whilst I slept, a cocoon grew around me. Inside the cocoon, I began to change. Then, when I broke free, I was no longer a caterpillar, but a beautiful blue butterfly. Plus, I don't eat leaves anymore, the butterfly continued. I eat something much tastier, it's called nectar. Wow! exclaimed Leo. I guess that means you won't be eating anything from my mum's vegetable patch now, he sighed with a smile. That's right, replied the butterfly, but your mum does grow something else I love. And what's that? questioned Leo. Flowers, giggled the butterfly. The end. Who am I? I'm a beautiful winged insect called a butterfly. I have two pairs of wings that overlap. The wings of some butterflies are wonderfully colored and amazed patterns that allow them to hide on plants and flowers. My wings. I have four wings in total. My two upper wings are called four wings and my two lower wings are called hind wings. My eyes. I cannot see shapes and objects very well. I mainly use my sight to recognize colors. This helps me to find the nearest flower. My antennas. I use my antennas for my sense of smell and balance. I have two antennas with clubs at each end. My proboscis. I drink nectar from flowers using my proboscis. It is like a curl up straw in the center of my face. My legs. All adult butterflies have six legs. The life cycle of a butterfly. To become a butterfly, this little creature goes through four stages. This change is called metamorphosis. The eggs. Butterfly starts life as small eggs that are usually laid on leaves. Two, the caterpillars. This stage is also known as larva. When the butterfly's eggs hatch, caterpillars crawl out. They start eating straight away. 3. The chrysalis. As soon as caterpillar has stopped growing, it forms itself into chrysalis, also called the cocoon. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar starts to change. The butterfly. Once the butterfly is fully formed, it will break out of the chrysalis. After resting a while, it will spread its wings and fly away. Butterfly and moth types. There are thousands of species of butterflies and moths. Let's take a look at a few of them. Small white. Its caterpillars are particularly fond of eating cabbage leaves. This butterfly is sometimes called the cabbage butterfly. Old world swallowtail. This butterfly is named the swallowtail because the edge of the hind wings looks like a tail of a swallow. Red admiral. Although the red admiral feeds mainly on nectar, it also enjoys nettles and clover during the spring and summer. Moth Moths are closely related to butterflies. They have the same life cycle but are nocturnal, which means they only come out at night.